James Whitening Milk Review How to mix this cream to avoid skin damage is the focus for today's video. So many people have asked to know more about this cream. Okay, so are you ready? Let's go there. Hello and welcome. I want to specially take this time out to appreciate every one of you who saw my videos and subscribed to this channel. You all are the real most valuable people. Thank you very much. I hit 200 plus subscribers and still counting. Words are not enough to express my appreciation. But for those of you who took time out of your precious schedule to engage me, wanting to know more in the comment section below, I want to say a very big thank you to you because this put me more on my toes, making more inquiries and research to serve you all. And for those of you who took your precious time out to criticize some of the things I spoke about in my previous videos, thank you very much. I hope you understood my, my response to those criticisms. It was actually worth my time. And for those of you who are just seeing this video, for the very first time it's already an open secret you know what i will tell you i really do want you to subscribe to my channel subscribe and let's be one happy family okay on this channel i'm all about skincare products matching creams with different skin types making creams and so okay my review today is based on the ingredient listing, my observation and or experience with this product and my recommendation. I'm also including in this video a free recipe that you can customize and make your own, okay? Yes, there is nothing I will not do for my subscribers and viewers. Now, I'm not going to bore you with all the ingredient listings but of course you know now that some of these ingredients caught my fancy but before i also go over to the ingredient listing i want to say that when i started hearing about dr james dr james dr james whitening lotion i actually went to i don't know if it is lotion or cream but i actually went to a, a, a an e-commerce website to get this product and then look at the reviews that people have been making on this product but when i saw this product i also went to check the ingredient listing on this product the, but the first commercial e-commerce website that i went to they said it has aha and all of those ah when i heard aha i was happy because i love creams and soaps that have aha in them because for me I know I'm a cream junkie, but now that I know much more about skincare product as a cosmetic chemist, I decided to go into research on the ingredient listing. Now, you know, of course, the ingredients are written in very, very small letters on the body of the product. So I wrote them down so as to drive my points home very well. So two, for now, Two ingredients caught my fancy. The name is very long, but however, <laughs> I don't know, I can't pronounce it. The name is very long. Scutellaris by Calensis Root Powder. <laughs> I really don't know if you can make anything out of it. So, I did not see anything like AHA written on the but on the, on the, as part of the ingredient listing. So when I saw, and then I was now wondering, why, why is it that the initial um, e-commerce website 
I went to check for the ingredient listing. It said it has a, it has AHA. Whereas the real product, there is no AHA written anywhere else. So, but about this, the name of the, this ingredient name I called just now. When I did more research on it, I saw that it's a, a herb and it's an antioxidant. So I guess maybe that is where that e-commerce website, that is what the other e-commerce website interpreted to be AHA. But there are so many antioxidants that are not listed under AHA. AHA is an antioxidant, but this particular herb also, I heard is a, is a, is a tradition of the Chinese and the Korea people, but that is an antioxidant. So I guess that is why that e-commerce website wrote AHA. Antioxidants are very, very good because they help the skin to fight free radicals, that free radicals in the air that can clog the pores of the skin. So that is a big plus for this product. Then the other ingredient that I liked that this product had was niacinamide. Of course, you know niacinamide is vitamin B3. It helps to fight skin pigmentation. So, but the hyping of this cream was so much that I was wondering, is this the only two ingredients that is actually making people hype this product? Overall, looking at the ingredient listing, the cream is a good cream. It has some very, some antioxidant in it, which I like, though I don't like the fact that it has too many preservatives, but I want to believe that the preservative they have used, the quantity or the, the yes, the level or the quantity or the composition of preservative in this product is under is under strict regulation and I, I i believe that they had actually followed the guidelines on the percentages of preservative that will be in it so because it doesn't contain no steroid no no clobestasol and whatsoever i would say that this cream is a utility a utility cream that formulators and users can use to mix any other component okay so now that i'm done with the ingredient listing of this cream let me go up over to what i feel about this cream okay now i bought this cream after the hyping and all of those things i bought it i have even used it to mix for a friend of mine and a client okay um I, i've also used it also now this cream eh, there's nothing about milk in it although they just said milk but of course from the ingredients there is nothing like milk in it but it smells like milk so i guess that the fragrance the company used in making this cream is a milky as a milk fragrance because it really smells like milk it has no harmful component in it i am talking based on the ingredient that was listed here there is nothing here that is very harmful to the skin okay so now i would say that now that i use this product like i said before i would say that this cream is a utility cream when i say utility cream i mean that you can use this cream in combination with other creams to make your skincare product or whatever you want to call it okay so because of that is a utility cream okay now if you have lightning products that you want to use assuming no for example now let me say that you are lightening your skin already if you have lightened your skin to a particular extent let me say one or two shades you can now purchase this cream add a very safe mild oil in this cream and you can use it for maintenance i would say that this cream is a safe haven for skincare product formulators for people who lighten their skin and want to tone it down a bit you can actually use it in the spirit of this season 
I decided to show you a free recipe that you can customize and make your own, okay? Now, let me talk about the cream stabilizer. I actually looked at it because of the many preservative components in this cream and the triethanolamine in this cream. I would advise that when you are mixing it with a mild oil, use a skin stabilizer or what you call skin balancer. Add that to this cream, okay? So that the preservative content and the all other things that might want to react negatively will be so that you can avoid it, okay? So if you want um, me to tell you about a skin balancer or stabilizer that you can use for this cream, beat me up in the comment section below because I don't want this video to be too long so that I can tell you which of the stabilizers that you can use. But because it is very in fact, I find it, I hardly go out these days. I decided to make my own skin stabilizer. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below for me. I have done this because I also want you to have a very good experience. It is not about just, ah, Dr. James is a good cream. Let me rush to the market and buy it. No. Yes, it's a good cream, okay? But it is important you know what goes into your skin. If you have, if you want to make further inquiries about this product, beep me up in the comment section below. If you want to have, if you want to know a, like a mild oil or serum to mix with this cream so as to use it to maintain your existing skin tone beat me up in the comment section below i will give you some recommendations but overall it's a utility cream it's a good cream it is a safe haven for people who have lightened up their skin and want to maintain their skin color okay but use between three to six months Discontinue use, pick up something else and use, and then later you can come back to it. Sit back and enjoy this free recipe. Love you all. Compliments of the season. Welcome to my mini workstation. Today, I'm making a lightning hand cream for a client of mine. So, I'll be activating this cream with my own... Um, this is my own formulation that I did. It's a stabilizer, okay? Now, I'll be using for my base Dr. Dr. James Whitening Cream, okay? Dr. James Milk Whitening Cream. Do not be deceived by the word milk, milk on this label. There is nothing about milk on this, on this in this cream, okay? So, do not be uh, do not be deceived by when they said milk whitening cream though the fragrance smells like milk but there is no iota of milk in it okay but it is a very good base cream that you can use in your formulation okay now there's something about this dr james like i said before i like looking at the ingredient listing i actually like all the ingredients except for the triethanolamine okay so but the triethanolamine is actually in very very small quantity in this product but i also know like i have told you people before that triethanolamine is a ph balancer but it is not supposed to be used for a long period of time okay now this is a very mild um hand cream for a client of mine who has actually toned her skin she's like it's like she's having dark knuckles and all of those things so i have actually advised her not to go above two shades two shades okay from now henceforth if you know that you are lightening your skin a bit and um, you are not above two shades this hand cream will actually clear your knuckles so let's get working I have actually sanitized my work area. My equipment has also been sanitized. It is very, very important. I sanitized with rubbing alcohol, okay? Uh -huh. So we shouldn't 
um, allow gems to be in our product. But before I begin, I like to weigh because the most important thing is that I see a lot of people mix their cream without weighing and knowing the ingredients that they are using for, without knowing the weight, without knowing the exact quantity of, um, of, of components in your product. This is very, very wrong. It is very important that you weigh your product, okay? And secondly, it is also very important that your base cream, whatever active you are using on a base cream that does not contain lightning ingredient has to be either has to be hundred percent as equal as the base cream you are using for your product okay now what do i mean by this if you are using 50 gram of your base cream ensure that your lightning actives that you are going to use will be also 50 gram because dr james does not have any lightning component in it though they said it is whitening cream okay but it doesn't have any lightning component in it and please be informed that dr james has carboma i see some people mix lactic acid with this cream for me i feel this is my opinion okay uh -huh. i feel that it is wrong lactic acid should not be mixed with anything that contains carboma okay so this is just for a little piece piece uh, piece of information you don't have to take it but this is what how i feel about it okay so let's get started so first of all i put on my scale and i weigh my equipment okay it's already in so weighing my equipment the weight of this container or this little bowl is 124 grams so i need to zero rise it so that i can determine the actual weight of the product i am making okay so i'm making a very small batch for this client so okay so now this is 20 grams so this is 20 grams this is 20 grams it's a little bit above 20 grams but that's fine okay now this is 20 gram of product so this is pigment dues i'm going to be talking about i don't know when this video is going to when I'm going to upload this video, probably I would have finished. I would have talked about payment dough before I upload this particular video, or probably not. But be that as it may, I'm going to be talking about payment dough, the properties and all that. But for this recipe, for this hand cream, I'm going to be adding. Since this is 20 gram of base cream, I'm going to be adding 10 gram of payment dough. To this recipe now I see a lot of people say the yellow cap is the fake one I'm going to be talking about it okay the yellow cap is not this does not determine whether pigment this pigment dough is fake or not in, in, in fact at the time the company in Cameroon started making pigment dough the yellow cap was the cap they were using before they changed it to the brown one okay you can see that pigment dough is boldly written although i don't want to open this one because i'm using it for cream mixing but this is original pigment dough this was the initial pim um, cap they were using before they changed it okay pigment dough is boldly written on the body and the deuce is also boldly written on the body okay i don't know if if you can see it but that is it okay so i'll be this is 20 gram so this is 20 gram of base so i'll be using 10 gram of pigment dough we're using 10 gram
yes so this is 10 gram and then i'm also going to add this is my stabilizer okay this is my stabilizer which was actually formulated by me okay if you want the complete recipe you can beat me up in the comment section below i'll be giving you the recipe but don't forget that pigment dough is actually a lightning cream it is a lightning serum i don't know if i should call it a cream or a serum or an oil but pigment dough is lightning but the base has no harsh ingredient in it which is the dr james has no harsh ingredient in it at all but because of the triethanolamine in dr james i'm going to be adding my stabilizer this is actually my formulation okay so to this we actually stabilize the pigment dough and and the in fact it will stabilize this recipe so that it will not damage your skin okay like i said before I am not a fan of adding too much ingredients or I, I am to my cream, okay? I am not a fan of doing that. I have never been a fan of add, adding too much ingredients to my, okay? Okay. So, this was actually, it wasn't up to his 7 grams. So, okay, so this is how to activate your cream. But because that was 7 grams, I need to beef it up. I need to add like three more grams to it okay so that I can yeah so so I'm going to be mixing it now I'm going to be mixing it I'm going to be mixing it so that stabilizer will stabilize the, and prevent any form of skin reaction okay like i said before i'm actually working i'm still working on my website i hope that my website will, my website will be ready before the end of january of 2020 on my website you can purchase whatever you want to purchase and in whichever um, currency that you want to purchase okay we also do delivery nationwide for this product so this is a hand cream this is a hand cream for somebody who is lightening her skin, okay? Not bleaching, no. I do not support bleaching, but if you are brightening or lightening your skin, this is a very good hand cream that will prevent you from having dark knuckles. You can recreate this recipe and make it your own. You can actually buy this Dr. James and the pigment juice, but be careful not to buy the fake pigment juice, okay? And then... You can add a stabilizing agent to it. This is actually my creation. This is a stabilizing agent that I created. So this stabilizes every, so that it, you pre, to prevent every form of unnecessary skin reaction. There are other stabilizing agents in the market, you know, but you see most of these companies, they do not put the exact ingredients that they are using for their product. Hence, I do not, for me to get a stabilizing agent in the market, I need to really search, read, and do a lot of research on them before I buy any product that is a stabilizing agent, okay? Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, kindly press the like button, give it a huge thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family if you know anybody who is suffering from dark knuckles, so this is a cream that you can use for the whole of your hands including the knuckles it will not lighten your hand more than the knuckle it will just balance the knuckle and your hands together okay i love you all stay blessed and bye